Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you have about the game, and I try to debunk them or prove them right in this episode. We have a lot of interesting ones to go through today, so let's get it started. What if you kill someone, frame Kakona by leaving a murder weapon, and then use a different murder weapon and kill someone else? Would you both be arrested? That is actually very, very interesting. So what we are gonna do, we are gonna simulate till the end of school and go to class. There we go, upgrade all our stats. We don't really give two diddly fucks what we put the stats in right now, because we're just, what the hell? I'm not trying to talk to you. Stop talking to me, you green-haired slut. I'm trying to go back to class. How rude, man, people trying to talk to you and you're trying to just get your education on. All right, now it's after school. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put on our little Michael Jackson gloves and wait for Kakona to make her gross ass little octopus hot dogs. And then we'll kill somebody and then we'll go from there. Okay, here's Kakona. And she's actually doing something real quick. Look at her. She's pulling out little brown pieces of shit and making them into little octopuses. How creative. Look at this, guys. If you think about it, her fingertips aren't even touching the knife. How are her fingerprints on the knife if she's not even touching them? She's holding that so weird. Look at that. The fuck is she doing? Who holds a knife like that, honestly? And god damn, look at those titties. You never really realize how big those tatas are until you see them up close. Now Kakona is leaving. I feel so sorry for her friends having to eat that nasty ass shit, but whatever. We are gonna grab this knife foo. And then we are gonna end this green-haired girl's life food! Wow. There you go. And then this is the one we're gonna use to frame Kakona. And we'll use this other knife. Is there anybody else around here on the roof? No, there isn't. Okay. We are gonna go find somebody random. I am gonna pick somebody. I don't know who it's gonna be. It's just gonna be any random thoughty act and naughty. Uh, is anybody in here? Oh, <laughs> shit! It's the teacher. Okay, we are not gonna do that. We are gonna find somebody else. And another teacher, what the fuck? You know what guys, I actually almost forgot to take off the gloves. Oh my god, everybody's leaving too? What the fuck, they're coming back? Okay, they're leaving. They're leaving and they're coming back, they're trying to juke me or something. Okay, we are gonna go back and take off the gloves. And then we are gonna try to just kill any random person, it doesn't even matter who it is. Boom! We are nude and we are gonna kill someone naked style. Oh yeah! All the fellas watching this, would you be so turned on or freaked out if you saw a naked girl running at you like this with a knife? Be honest! I just realized, Oka's paranormal ass is probably still in the occult club. Here we go. Whoa, bam! Whoa! You guys hear that? Hold on. There's like some freaky music playing in the background. Hold up. Let me turn that up. What the fuck? I didn't hear this before. Oka, is this you? You playing like some ancient African rituals in the background, Oka? Is that what you're into? Is that how you get the occult club to work? Well, I'm gonna keep swinging your ass around. Ooh, da -de -da, swinging around the occult room. La -de -da. Damn, you swing pretty damn far, Oka. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, swing it, girl. Swing it. Watch me start the occult club purely by accident. That would be the most epic thing ever. I'm like swinging her around and all these hands are like popping up in the air saying, hey. We just got done killing Oka, so we're gonna drop the knife. That is the one with our fingerprints on it. I'm just gonna take a shower just so when the police question me, I'm not all bloodied up. I just wanna see if they can get us purely from a fingerprint standpoint. And I just walked around the whole building, didn't I? Like a huge dumbass. Okay, let's wash these off. Oh yeah, get that blood off, girl. And then I think I'm just gonna incinerate the clothes right here. There's one. And there's two. And activate. Yes. Now we just gotta mop up these bloody footprints. Cause why be fook not, right guys? Nothing wrong with that. Cause I just wanna see if they, the police can catch us purely from the fingerprint standpoint, like I said earlier. And I don't want any other traces of evidence to just be seen like these footprints. So let's clean this all up real quick. There we go, get my janitor game on. My janitor game is on fleek, everybody, damn. Okay, no more footprints. We are going home. Let's see what happens. Yanari yeah, Chan stands near the school gate and waits for Senpai to leave school. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher immediately calls the police. The teacher informs the rest of the faculty about our discovery. The faculty do not allow any students to leave the school until the police investigation has taken place. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpses of Midori Gurun and Okaruto. The police discover a knife that is stained with the blood of Okaruto. 
The police find Yandere-chan's fingerprints on the weapon. Yandere-chan is arrested by the police. She will never have senpai. What the fuck? What about Kakona? She gets off scot-free? What about her damn dirty fingerprints? That's bullshit. Her big titty slut-filled fingerprints were on the other night that killed Midori. That is bull, man. So, I guess there's like some kind of thing going on where if I kill someone, then it's purely the priority of the police to get me and not Kakona. So I guess that question is answered. If both of our fingerprints are on it, the police go after me first. Of course! On to the next one. If you kill Saki and post a lie on the internet, will Saki still post? Oh, so this is kind of like a will she post from the dead kind of thing. I get you, I get you, I see where you're coming from. So, in order to do that though, the only thing we can do is overhear somebody like saying something that we can post on Facebook. And Kikona is the only person that we can get to do that. So we need to wait for her to make that phone call, you know, regarding the compensated dating. Hurry the fuck up, Kakona. Jeez, there you go. Hello? I told you not to call me when I'm at school. God, do you guys ever wonder what like this guy I looks said, like? That was a one -time thing. I bet you I he looks like this. Again. Or he probably looks like this. Or what even this. But god damn, look at those titties! She got those big titties, man. I'd pay for some compensated dating, you know what I'm saying? So now that we learned this new information, what we need to do now, we need to get Saki to go somewhere where we can kill her really fast. But you know what? I'll do you one better. I will kidnap her, so follow me, Puriz! And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the syringe and the trank, and we're just gonna kidnap her. You know, bring her home. She's gonna be one of our little pets in the basement. Hello, big titty, big booty nurse. How you doing today? I'm doing just fine, thank you. And whoa, 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 my bad. We are gonna go all the way over here. Saki! Come and go sleepy! Wa-bam! Yeah, go to sleep, bitch. Okay, we're gonna drag her by the foot. Of course we're gonna drag her by the foot. Okay, dump you in there, boom. And then fast forward time, and let's go home. Let's see what happens. Okay, before we post anything on Facebook, let's make sure our mind slave is still in the basement down below. Yes, she is. Hey, Saki, how you doing? Oh, you're not too good? You want to go home? Well, that's too bad. I'm going back upstairs with my bunny slippers. Okay, let's see what we can write this time. Today I saw... What? What the? Where is everybody's face at? Okay, her name is highlighted, but it's just not showing her picture. Okay, today I saw Kakona Haruka in Shisuta Town. She was engaging in the compensated of the day thing. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 my bad. All right, let's post that bad boy up. Today I saw Kakona Haruka in Shisuta Town. She was engaging in compensated dating. Oh yeah, all these people are posting. What? Saki? No, Kakona-chan, it's not true, is it? What the fuck, Saki? Hold on. Posting on Facebook without master's permission? How the hell did she even do that? Her hands are bound to the chair. Oh, now you're gonna get tortured, girl. Now you're gonna get it, girl. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, So there you have it, guys. It doesn't matter if you kidnap or murder someone. If you post something on Facebook, they will still respond. I don't know how Saki did it. I had her tied up in the basement. She had no hands to use her phone, and she still posted. She's a damn wizard. But this actually brings me to my next question that I have, and that is if you bully Kakona enough until she sits alone, do her classmates still come to the cooking club to eat her food? So we are gonna figure that out. We already did step one. We put some compensated dating posts on Facebook and people are already gossiping about her. So let's gossip about her some more. Okay, we just gotta gossip about Kakona now. Hey, guess what, girl? I heard that Kakona got some big old pepperoni nipples. Oh my God, that sounds awful. Doesn't it? Big ol' pepperoni nipples ass. And now we just gotta keep doing the same process to all the students. I know I get them to love me all the time whenever I talk to them. I just have that charm. Look at all those hearts coming out from their heads. They just love me. Oh, I can't gossip to her? Okay, I guess I already did her. So what about you, Karate Masta? Gossip about Kakona. There we go. And we just gotta rinse and repeat. Okay, I think Budo is the last of the people that I can gossip about Kakona to. So let's see where her reputation is right about... Now, oh, wait, whoops, whoops. There you go, Ryan, focus, baby. You look fabulous. Okay, her reputation is at minus 92. Damn, that's low. And now we just stand here and play the waiting game. Come on, girls, you're gonna come in here. Oh, what? You guys are still friends with Kakona after all that I told you? What? 
You guys still love her? Are you guys dumb? Are you guys mad? Compensated dating, people! Compensated dating! Maybe I need to lower her reputation into the triple digits, so it's around 92, right? Yeah, 92. Okay, we'll come again tomorrow and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, so Kukona didn't even come to school. Her reputation was so low that she said, fuck school, I'm staying home, or I'm transferring, or I'm moving to a different country. So it doesn't even matter, guys. If you get her reputation low enough, she'll either stop coming to school, but her friends will still be there at the cooking club. I wonder if they're actually going to be there right now. Let me check. So Kukona's friends all come to the cooking club. It doesn't even matter if she's here or not. They give no fucks. They probably just sit here expecting to be fed. Here, I'll be the new member of the cooking club. You guys want me to make some of those cool octopus hot dogs? Yeah? Oh, well, too fucking bad. You're not going to get it, sons of bitches. For the new update, can you get away with electrocuting someone since there is no murder weapon? I would say you could, especially if you have the gloves on with the screwdriver. You don't even need to put the screwdriver in the furnace. You could just leave it in the bathroom. But since Kakona takes shits on Thursdays, I believe, we are going to make it Thursday real quick. There we go. So now it is Thursday. It's shitty Thursdays. So now we just got to wait for Kakona's stomach to rumble. There we go. Actually, right on time, right on cue. Yeah. She's probably gonna take that fat old Thursday shit. God, if I had to take a fat shit, I would walk way faster than that. Can you hurry up, Kakona? There you go. Speed up time. Okay, come on. I bet you she's turtle heading right now. And if you guys don't know what turtle heading is, that is when you have to take a shit so bad, the end of the shit is actually poking out of your ass. If that's too much information, I don't give a fuck. Let's turn this off first and unscrew that. Boom. Okay. And then fill that up. Hurry, gotta go, gotta go. She takes the fastest shit ever. Yeah, there you go. Pour it on her. <laughs> Boom. Did someone really just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? I don't know. Why don't you go turn on the light? I have to turn the stupid lights back on. Yeah, because the priority number one after you're wet is to turn on the lights, right? Ooh. Fatality. So we didn't even touch the body. We didn't even do anything. All we need to do now is take off the gloves, throw it in the furnace, activate it, and then go home and see what happens. I think this glove taking off animation is so cool because I'm just like unzipping like my forearms and then it just comes off. So let's carry that in there. And why can't I open this? Why can't I open that? All right, never mind then. We're just going to leave that right there and we're just going to fast forward and go the fuck home. And Derry Chan stands near the school and waits for Senpai to leave school. While walking around the school, the teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher immediately calls the police. The teacher informs the rest of the faculty about her discovery. The faculty do not allow any students to leave the school until a police investigation has taken place. The police arrive at school. The police determine that Kokona Haruka died from being electrocuted. The police treat her death as a possible murder and search the school for any other victims. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers! police are unable to locate any murder weapons. Ha <laughs> ha! Suckers again! The police question Yandere Chan, but cannot link her to any crimes. The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Yandere Chan stalks Senpai until he has returned home safely and then returns to her own home. Cool! So we just got away with murder by electrocuting one of the girls. I'm pretty sure that the gloves played a vital part in it. But you could get away with it either way, if, even if you just throw the screwdriver in the incinerator. So yes, you can get away with murder by electrocuting someone on to the last myth of the day. Ram Kukona then kidnappers see what happens. You see, this is why I love you guys. The ability to think creatively like that. You frame her and then you kidnap her. That is ingenious. How are the police ever going to find her? So we're just going to put in random stats right now. We don't really care what. And then we're going to fast forward to class. Have her chop up her little gross ass octopus stuff. We don't even know what that is. It is now after school. Let us get our whole checklist started. Gloves, check. Gross ass food that nobody's gonna eat, check. Kokona's knife, checkity check. Random hoe that I'm gonna kill, check. Oh yeah, time to die. And then drop this right there. Scrub the blood off my bloody naked body, check. Dump item number one. And dump item number two. And don't forget to activate that bad boy. So, last order of business. We get the syringe and the trank, and then we ask Kakona to follow us, and we kidnap that ass! Hey, Kakona, I'm all naked and ready for you, baby girl. Can you follow me? I want to make some hot, sweet love to you. Yeah, follow me right here. Oh, I can't contain my love for you, girl. Come on, girl. 
Get in here, girl, please, girl. All right, close that door. And trank this whore. Yeah! Drag it. Boom! Okay, let's fast forward time, and let's see what happens. And Derrick-chan stands near the school gate and waits for Senpai to leave school. Walking around the school, the teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher immediately calls the police. The teacher informs the rest of the faculty about her discovery. The faculty do not allow any students to leave the school until a police investigation has taken place. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Okaruto. The police discover a syringe that is stained with the blood of Kokona Haruka. The police find Yandere-chan's fingerprints on the weapon. Yandere-chan is arrested by the police. She will never have senpai. What the fuck? I forgot about that! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Uh, no! <sighs> fuck! I so stupid! Me so stupid! Okay, so I did everything I normally did, but this time I am gonna take the syringe and I'm gonna dump it. There we go. No more evidence. Incinerates. And now we go home and we really see what happens. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Okaruto. The police discover a knife that is stained with the blood of Okaruto. The police find the fingerprints of Kakona Haruka on the weapon. Kakona Haruka is found asleep inside of a musical instrument case. The police assume that she hid herself inside the box after committing murder and arrest her. The police question Yandere Chan but cannot link her to any crimes. The police believe that they have arrested the perpetrator of the crime. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Yandere Chan stalks Senpai until he has returned home safely and then returns to her own home. So wait, wait, let me get this straight. The police believe that Kakona was inside of that box sleeping. She actually hid herself? Do they ever perform any drug tests to find that there was like tranquilizer in her system? Man, these cops are smart as hell. But that is what happens if you try to kidnap her and then frame her for murder. They find her asleep inside of the box and then they arrest her ass. So she gets a double whammy, man. Nothing ever goes good for Kakona. But that is going to do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys want to be potentially featured in the next episode, make sure you guys leave a question, challenge, or myths in the comment section below, and I will choose the best ones to use in the next video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!